So welcome back guys to online class for excellence. Today I will be going through mathematics section, coordinate geometry. It's a huge part, so I will be covering it in two parts. So for the first part, I will like go through the main section that are there included in your syllabus. Number one is the reflection, like uh, like mirror reflection. In physics as well, we have learned like reflection, like my identical one. So in case of here, it is the like reflection. In case of coordinate geometry. For example, if this is x-axis and this is y-axis, so p, the reflection of p is p dash. So this this distance, this distance are equal. So, uh, so as all well, like this is the reflection. Main part, the first part that we need, we you guys need to know. And like the parts are there, like if reflection in line y zero is in the like x-axis, x zero, y-axis are original. I will come back to those points. And invariant. So if I go through the main part, like to find mainly. So uh, if I go like uh, if, if I see it's like what is what is reflection? What is reflection? Reflection is like the mirror image. You guys know that. So over here, reflection in the line y zero in the x axis. So basically, line zero. If you come over here, reflection lines uh, y zero in the x axis. That means if a point of uh, the coordinate of a point is x comma y, it will become x comma minus y. Why? Because if considered a point B over here, reflection will be B dash. So if this is suppose uh, 4, 3. So it will come over here 4 minus 3. Obviously. In case of x, it will be like the opposite. So x, y will become like minus x, y. Y, suppose y over here like 2 and minus 3. It will come in the opposite like minus 2 and 3. The sign will come change. So basically, it will like basically minus x and minus y and origin. Origin if the if this is the origin, you guys know that, this is the origin. So it's basically the reverse one. Reverse one means if the point is x, y, it will become minus x, minus y. And in the end, like it is a point uh, that remain unaltered after transformation as well. It is, it, it is a, any point that remains unaltered, meaning x, y will remain x, y only. Now coming back to the second section, section and midpoint formula. So what is coordinate of a point? Suppose a point, uh, a P, P is a point and it is dividing this line segment AB in the ratio M1 is to M2 and these are the coordinates X1, Y1, X2, Y2. So what is the formula for coordinate of this point, this point P? It is M1 into X2 plus M2 uh, into X1 by M1 minus M2 plus M1 plus M2, M1 into Y2 plus uh, M2 into Y1 by M1 plus M2. So this is the coordinate of this point. If these are the coordinates of this two point, if a line is dividing, uh, if a point is dividing a line in the, in the ratio m1 is to m2, so this is the coordinate of the point. And if it is a midpoint, suppose this p is the midpoint, then it will be x1 plus x2 by 2, y1 plus y2 by 2. And if it is same for our triangle, same for means where the medians like uh, of a triangle meet over here. So uh, basically, this is the uh, point G. You can say same thread. So x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3, y1 plus y2 plus y3 by 3. These are the formulas that you guys, you guys need for uh, your numerical problems. And another way is also there. If, if we take, uh, we can take uh, k as well. I will come back to, the, to, to this part while we do numericals. m1 is to m2. If the ratio is given, how can we find the like the coordinate point? There is a, another thing. m1 is to m2 equal to k1 is to 1. That will come back to the uh, part when I will do the numerical. Now the third part is the equation of a line. So equation means the equation of a line of a, uh, a line passing through a particular coordinate part. So tan theta slope. So these are the two lines. This is making an angle theta. Okay. So slope is like the theta one. The angle that is making we denote it as m. So m equal to like y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. So x1 y1 is the coordinate of this point and this point is x2 y2. So if you have to find a point like uh, the, the slope of a line that is interconnecting by this with the theta, then to find the slope of this line, we can use this formula. We can get the value of the slope. Okay. In case we are like tan theta, it, it may come like root 3. So we can say tan theta, so theta, we can say like 60 degrees. So that, that, that will, we will come into the details, like this part covers only in numericals. So I am just going through the formulas and the basic uh, like the theory. Parallel lines, if two lines are parallel, what will be their uh, slope? Basically their slope is mainly equal. The two lines which are parallel to each other, will always their slope will be always be equal. And perpendicular lines, their slope will be negative. Like m1 will be equal to minus m2. Like if this is 1, the slope of this line will be minus 1. And equally inclined, the slope will be equal. If they are equally inclined to a particular line. 
and the, the main three parts that the formula that you, need, you guys need to know for finding the equation of a line is y equal to mx plus c, y and x are the like the uh, vari uh, the variable of the equations, m is the slope, and uh, c is the y intercept. Y intercept means how much is the like if we go through a like uh, this line, this line is cutting, so this point is how much like this point perpendicular to like how much is the y intercept. So this is the constant. Now number uh, this is uh, known as slope intercept form, and number two is point slope form. Point slope means you know the slope m, you know one point, one point x1, y1, maybe any point, any point, you know coordinate of uh, the slope that you need, uh, the equation of the line that you need to find out, you just know uh, one coordinate x1 and y1 and you need to know the slope, then you can use this uh, formula, point slope form and two point, if two points are there then it's quite easy, if two points are there like y2, these two points are there in your uh, numerical, so you can just find the slope from here and then if we find the slope then you can put in this this equation in order to find the equation of the line. This is called two point. So this is the basic uh, like the formulas and uh, like as, as in brief I have covered guys in the theory. You can, if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section. I will definitely uh, connect uh, you guys uh, personally as well. Uh, my number is given in my channel. You can contact me if for, if for any doubts and all. Mainly basically this is the main uh, structure that is uh, there in coordinate geometry. Now. Uh, I will come back with numerical part of uh, reflection and uh, section and mutual formula in this part and equation of a line it, it's a huge part so I will cover it in the second part of this video. So I will come back with the numerical of reflection and mutual formula. These are some of the numericals that I have brought in. Uh, five numericals are there from the section of reflection and uh, midpoint formula. So intersection and uh, midpoint formula is from here, midpoint. I will come back with some other formula in my next part as well along with the equation of the line numericals. But for the time being, uh, the first sum like this is basically plot a figure P and Q in the graph line. So if I draw a coordinate like this and like P is 3 comma 2 so this is suppose this is 3 and this is 2 so 3 comma 2 is over here and minus 3 and uh, minus 2 so minus 3 and minus 2 will come over here so 3 comma 2 minus 3 comma 2 so this is q this is p according to our sum from p and q draw perpendicular p m so from this over here this is the perpendicular and uh, so this is p m and q n on the x axis so this is q n so what is the coordinate of m and P. So from here you can guess like m is 3 comma 0 and m is like minus 3 comma 0. Name of the uh, image of like the P. So what, what will be the image of P? Image of P will be nothing but if we see over here P will be automatically reflected back to this point. So, P, uh, so it will come like minus 3 comma minus 2 so that will be Q over here. So uh, P M Q N what an area what? So what is this? As you can say, as you can see over here, so this and this part are equal, this is perpendicular, so these two are parallel, so this is basically a parallelogram. And what is the area of this? For finding the area, we see, uh, you, you guys can see that this is the diagonal of a uh, like parallelogram. So this is a triangle, this is a triangle. So if we find the track area of, of this, we can double it to find the area of the perpendicular. So area of this will be half into this into this. This is nothing but three, uh, like 2 and this is nothing but 3 and 3, 6. So you can find the area of this triangle and you can double it up to find the area of the uh, like the uh, parallelogram. It will come as 12. And like the last part, so if M, if M like uh, is uh, what mapped in reflection in X axis, Y axis and origin, what will be the coordinates of M? On x axis, the coordinate of m of n axis will be like nothing but 3 comma 0. M is like this, so it will be 3 comma 0 because it is on it is in the x axis only. Y axis it will be just like the uh, the opposite, mainly like minus 3 comma 0. And origin will be again minus 3 comma 0 because origin over here it will be reflected back in the y axis. So and over here as well, also will the same thing. So minus 3 comma 0 will be in origin as well. 
So now coming back to the uh, second question. So if a point uh, P minus 1 comma 2 divides like a, a line joining two points A 2 comma 5 and B A comma B in the ratio 3 to 4 find A into B minus A. So over here P is minus 1 comma 2. Alright, so let me draw the figure at first. AB. So over here A is 2 comma 5 according to the uh, question and B is like A minus uh, comma B and the point P is dividing the line so P is minus 1 comma 2 and the ratio is 3 is to 4. So this is the basic figure. So now what we will do for the time being we will apply that formula that we written in the uh, theoretical part that Mx into C when we have the ratio you know the coordinates so you can put in like m into x2 plus m into x1 by m1 plus m2 so going with that formula we will see like p is minus 1 so this point is minus 1 so i will uh, write the equation 3 into a m into a a is the b x2 is the a plus 4 into 2 x1 over here so x2 and y2 over here by 3 plus 4 m plus m2 equal to it will come minus 1 the x coordinate like equalize you will find the y coordinate as well putting the same value over here like 2 so it will come 3b plus 4 into 5 plus by 3 by 4 so from here we will come we will get the conclusion like a is nothing but minus 5 and from this equation, when we will put in the like, the, uh, we will find the y uh, coordinate and all. So we will get like b equal to minus 2. So from here, we can put it in the formula and the answer will come as 15. So the third problem calculate the ratio in which the points 4, 6 and minus 5, 4 is divided by the line y comma 3 so find the coordinates of the intersection point so line y comma 3 so you can get the coordinate of uh, like y axis will obviously 3 over here so you can put in that formula like same formula like y coordinate 3 equal to like m1 into minus 4 plus m2 into 6 by m1 plus m2 over here by calculating uh, this equation we can get m1 is to m2 that is 3 is to 7 this is the same formula that i have told you in the uh, theoretical class guys like uh, y coordinate equal to m1 into uh, like uh, y2 plus m2 into like uh, y1 plus by m1 plus m2 so from here we can get m1 is to m2 equal to 3 is to 7. Now we can get the coordinate of the intersection point. So y obviously will come as 3 as you guys know because the line that is intersecting is y equal to 3. So y coordinate of the of this intersection point will obviously come 3. So what will be this point? Again put back in the same formula as this. Uh, take x and then put the same formula like uh, m1 into x2 plus uh, m2 into x1 by m1 plus m2 so from here you can get like x equal to 13 by 10 so the coordination of the point intersection is nothing but uh, according to answer uh, 13 by 10 comma 3 so now coming back uh, to uh, the problem of uh, like the for find the coordinate of c so what is that a b and d are given are the vertices of a parallelogram a b c d uh, you have to find the coordinates of C. So parallelogram you can like uh, like A, B, C and D. So A you know the coordinate, D you know the coordinate and D you know the coordinate. These three coordinates you know and find the coordinate of C. So uh, for here you need to draw this diagonal. So you need to know the midpoint of here. So A and D you know uh, and D and B, like D and B you know, you know you know this point D and B you know the coordinates. So apply the midpoint theorem x1 plus x2 by 2, comma y1 plus y2 by 2. So from here midpoint of AC, midpoint of AC is equal to midpoint of BD as well obviously. These are the same point. So once you got the uh, coordinate of uh, like the midpoint of DB, you can get the uh, coordinate of the midpoint of AC. From there, easily you can find the coordinate of the point 
uh, C over from here. Alright, so these two are the same points. So at according to answer, the vertices is nothing but 0, 2. Last but not the least, A, B, and C are given vertices of a triangle. Find the median. Uh, so median as I told you uh, like that for the same triad like three points are given x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3 uh, comma y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus uh, by 3. These are the three points a, b and c are the vertices of three triangles. The coordinates are, uh, are, are being told. So from here if you can, we can find the midpoint uh, of the side bc. Why bc? Length of the medium through a. So this is this will be the medium. So from here we need to know this point, the coordinate, B and C we know and median is the midpoint. So D we can find it from the midpoint theorem and the point will come as minus 4, 13 by 2 and the length of the medium. So AD, A we know and D we know. So remember guys that formula which I, uh, which I have written in the theoretical class as well and in this part of the board like distance like x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. So you can get the distance of the medium from a to d. So these are some uh, uh, numerical guides. Uh, so I will come back with the numerical so the equation of the line is in the next class. And I will also come back with some formulas and some numericals of this section as well. So stay tuned. This is a part one of coordinate geometry. Let us meet in the part two.